Hello and welcome back to the channel. I have a couple of gadgets to talk to you about today. But before we do that, um, let's look at what we have here. The main unit, the 12 volt DIY box. I'm not sure if I've talked about this particular one on the channel yet. But basically there's a 12 volt, 12 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery by WattCycle. And this is just a plastic ammo can. We have the banana plug terminals. We have a USB quick charge socket there. We have a light. And on the other side, we have a 12 volt accessory plug port. So the modules we have today are a USB power deliv delivery decoy board and we have an XL4015 DC-DC buck converter. Now what on earth am I doing with this? Well, setting up these systems is quite fun, building them, but charging them is an issue unless you have you're already a lithium ion phosphate charger, which I do. But, like, why can't we charge these with USB? It's, it's difficult. And because USB generally only gives you 5 volts, and that's not going to charge a 12-volt battery. But with USB-C, um, you can go up to, I think, 20 volts. So the 20 volts is more than sufficient to charge a 12-volt battery, but that's a bit too high. So what we are going to do is use this uh, step-down buck converter to reduce the voltage to 14.6 to charge the battery. So, yeah, USB-C power delivery is quite excellent. So if you have a, a spare charger lying around, um, you just have to check the specs of your charger. Uh, what does it say here? Uh, it's 96 watts. It's a MacBook Pro charger. Uh, is it saying here? It does flip around the right way. So, let's just see if we can zoom in a bit. USB power delivery output, 20.5 volts at 4.7 amps, 15 volts at 3 amps, 9 volts at 3 amps, or 5.2 volts at 3 amps. So it's an auto-negotiating one. So what we're going to do is use this power adapter um, to power this decoy board and these dip switches um, correspond to uh, negotiating 5, 9, 12, 15, 20 and you, this particular setting is set to 20 volts um, very cheap device, you can get this off AliExpress for like $2.50 and this thing as well, $2.50 so for under uh, five between five to ten dollars, you can get uh, your own lithium ion phosphate battery charger. So, this is going to um, power the board, and then we're going to make sure we set to 20 volts because this thing only steps uh, this requires the input voltage to be at least two volts higher than what you want to output. So what I'll do is I'll plug in the power adapter so we can see what happens when it all powers on. Okay, it's now powered on. I um, also failed to tell you that this little yellow thing is not included. I just 3D printed that just um, recently as a temporary measure. I probably want to put all these in a, in a box, in a junction box. Okay, so this is the XL4015 module. And this is our input. Gosh, I'm going to not be in focus here. Uh, input, and this button here merely turns on and off the display. Okay, so we're not going to bother about that. Um, that's showing we're feeding 0, 0.00 amps, which is useless to mess at the moment. Not plug into a load. Um, 0, 0, 0.0p, so that's power. And that will be measured in watts when we do attach our load. And what else? So now this little LED light has gone on here. So it's showing the input voltage, 
five volts that you use meant to be a V, but obviously that segment display can't display a V. So I just move one of these dip switches, we'll be able to see the voltage change. See, it went the input voltage is now 5.2 volts. I'll put it back to um, 20. And if we push it again, that will show you the output voltage because this light here says out and 14.6 is what we're going to be outputting through these terminals here. And you adjust the voltage with this uh, pentiometer with a little flathead screwdriver, turn that one there. And here uh, refers to the current and we can't see that current yet because we need to plug the load in or we can use a multimeter and um, put it into um, current mode and test it there. The one thing I did notice with this is that you really have to plug in the input input power source first. If you plug in the load power source, it back feeds into it and you don't get what you expect. So always plug the power source in first. So uh, 20 volts and we're stepping down to 14.6 because that's the charging voltage of a lithium ion phosphate battery. And that is just going to charge up the battery box until we get to 14.6. And the current is going to taper off um, just because that's the way, uh, that's what happens when the voltage of the input and output uh, gets um, close to each other. So effectively we're charging the battery. But it's not going to um, reduce the voltage. Um, so you really want to turn this off, not leave it on overnight when you're um, charging it because you don't want to damage the battery. Of course, the BMS will probably protect this, but yeah, just charge that when it's finished, turn it off. And I don't think this is really meant for, for charging. It's just a step-down converter, but it does have lights like full charge and a CC slash CV light which I think means constant current slash constant voltage but yeah in theory you can use this to charge up a, a battery by USB-C which is pretty excellent I think um, USB power delivery can only deliver up to 3 amps max or 5 amps but anyway what I'm going to do now is find a positive terminal here so you're at 13.2 volts so the output of the buck converter is 14.6, so it's going to start charging it. And as you can see, the voltage has started to rise. And here we are now, the output voltage is 14.2. Uh, so it's sagged a little bit, but it's actually charging. As you can see, the light has gone blue there and we actually have a red light here for constant current constant voltage so if you push this button and cycle through stuff so we're outputting at 2 amps uh, 28.4 watts and input voltage is 20.2 uh, output voltage 14.2 yeah so you can adjust it there for voltage and there for current. I'm not going to adjust it now because I've got it set to how I want it. So this is basically a 2 amp USB-C charger, which is excellent. And there we have it. There is a DIY lithium ion phosphate battery charger via USB-C. Uh, possibly my next video, I'll have it all mounted into a little junction box and I'll, I'll be sure to update you. A little bonus clip for those of you that watched to the end of the video. I've plugged in my inline USB power meter and we can see that we're pulling 1.6 amps into everything at 32.2 watts and it's going right into the battery to charge it.